Uh, well, it's, it's not easy to find the isolated condition of uh, STT joint arthritis, and we know that it affects mainly uh, postmenopausal women. Uh, the clinical features are related to pain, decrease of active range of motion, and uh, mainly of strength. Uh, of course, it's mandatory to attempt first a conservative treatment, uh, but it's difficult. First, for the anatomic features of this joint, then because from uh, the hand therapist, it's more difficult to isolate the painful grasp. And uh, it's also definitely more challenging to teach the patient the proper joint uh, uh, economy. Uh, these are the chance that we have for conservative treatment, like a static night splint, functional uh, uh, splint during the daily activities, uh, other kind of therapy, as well as uh, um, anti-inflammatory drugs. When we, uh, failure, there's a failure of the conservative treatment, uh, the only choice that we have, of course, is the surgical one. Many options, few options, has been described, like a silicone implant, STT fusion, arthroplasty, or prosthesis. Uh, each of these uh, different procedures might have uh, some advantages, but also disadvantages, like silicon interposition or STT fusion. Mainly it's difficult to, um, to correct in the proper position the, arth the, the arthrodesis and also the, the rate of an union. Or also arthroplasty with the STT resection and different kind of interposition. The goal of our study is uh, to compare two group of patients uh, who, were, who underwent the atroscopic resection of the distal pole of the scaphoid. In, uh, in one group, uh, the simple resection was performed, while in the other group, uh, with the help of the atroscopy, uh, a uh, pyrocarbon implant was interposed. The, the Technique, the atroscopic technique for the distal uh, pole resection was the same for both of the patients using the standard portals and the video shows uh, part of the procedure that we already have seen also in uh, Dr. Badia's presentation. The portal are the standard one. One of the key points if you proceed with uh, this kind of resection it is that it's mandatory to avoid to create just a central hole in the trapezium leaving a peripheral uh, um, secondary uh, potential impingement between the trapezium and, uh, and the metacarpal bone. In the, in the group in which just simple resection were, were performed, there were nine patients, seven female and two male, with an average age of 65 years. In five patients, the right hand was involved, in four, the left one. And this was one of the cases with the clinical findings. Uh, these were the clinical results for this group of patients after 32 months follow-up in which was uh, evaluated pinch, VAS, DASH, and Mayo score. In the patient in which, with the help of atroscopy, was uh, positioned the STPI prosthesis, that is in pyrocarbon, as you can see here, after the distal pole resection with the help of atroscopy, the two portals were uh, united and the prosthesis that you can see was positioned. It's very important uh, also to try, if it's possible, to leave like uh, a little peak from the uh, radial uh, dorsal part of the scaphoid uh, as to create uh, uh, a bit of obstacle of the potential subluxation and prosthesis. And this is the, without the traction, the intraoperatory testing. In this uh, group, uh, there were 13 patients treated with uh, in the majority females, about 77 years old of uh, average age. In nine cases, the right hand, in four, the left one was involved. For the patient, uh, there was a uh, splint positioning, not removable for three weeks at the beginning. And then uh, from the third week, uh, uh, a removable splint was positioned, just uh, uh, with the living free the wrist, and then uh, was uh, promoted uh, uh, re um, regaining of the active wrist of motion. These were the clinical results of this group. They will show also in the previous group uh, a good improvement of all these um, factors. And these were the compare clinical results that showed in both of the group uh, uh, a good improvement. What we was wondering, and because one is one of the 
critical point that is often uh, argued is the eventual dizzy evolution after the distal polarization. So we wanted to evaluate the, uh, all this patient. As regards, this, this is the group with the, the simple interposition, and there was just uh, uh, two uh, increasing of the DZ deformity compared to the pre-op uh, radiographical finding. In one case, uh, a DZ was also present before the operation. This is the second group, and uh, also here there were two uh, uh, in, um, increasing of the DZ deformity, but also in this case, uh, the DZ was present uh, uh, before the operation. This is the comparative results and all the measurements between uh, the two group of patients. Uh, what we can say, I think that uh, arthroscopy really help us, and this is, could be a, a good solution. Uh, probably the positioning of the implant uh, may allow a little bit of the retentioning of the ligament that gives stability to the distal pole of the scaphoid. But uh, like in the prosthesis uh, group, uh, we have uh, 24 months follow-up, so probably we need a little bit more time to see other potential evolution. Thank you.